In the history department, we love history because it connects us to the present as well as the future. In our lives, we've got many things to be grateful for, such as all the rights and freedoms we have. The reason we have those is because people in the past have done extraordinary things to help us achieve more equality. There's still a long way to go, but people who are protesting and campaigning to change things now in relation to our rights and our freedoms um, are shaping our future and uh, we can all contribute to that. On the other hand, when terrible things have happened in the past, it's really important for us to understand why these things happen. So getting an understanding of these, as well as thinking about the consequences of these terrible things, um, can enable us to make more co positive contributions to society and to become more well-rounded people. History uh, shapes our present, as well as our future. I took GCSE history because I'm very passionate about learning about the past and I find it very interesting. What I enjoyed most about GCSE history was the one about Germany course, as well as the Cold War course. They're both very interesting and were taught very well. I have a natural interest in World War and that helped learning about additional information with the Weimar course. It really built up a good understanding and I could use it as well as just not in my essay, but in general, it was very good. As well as the Cold War course, it was something I've always knew, known about, but not in detail. So learning actually about that um, was also very interesting. Uh, I took history because in year seven, eight and nine, I really enjoyed it. And there are lots of fun practical homeworks that you can do, and it's very enjoyable. So in history, we study a broad range of topics. This is to offer you variety. We study Weimar to Nazi Germany, Superpower Relations, which is the Cold War, which you've just studied in Year 9. We also study Anglo-Saxon to Norman England and Crime and Punishment from the Anglo-Saxon times to the 21st century. So that gives you a nice broad scope of history and it gives you a good understanding of why we live in the world we do today. I felt like I gained good skills with my English uh, that helped me structure my paragraphs well with the techniques and what we're using in history and it was a good comparison between certain things we've learned in history compared to England. Um, history gives you, it gives you the ability to focus on something for a long time because we have four things that we need to work on over the course of two years so it gives you a lot of time to work on something which can help you out with your concentration. History gives me a lot of skills about comparisons and making arguments. So what can you do with history in terms of career? Anything to do with business, law, TV and film work, uh, politics, and anything that involves working with uh, with people, which, which includes most jobs. Um, the reason for that is because history shows that you've got an analytical mind and it also shows that you have empathy towards others. I felt like my teacher supported me by one, teaching the lesson well and when I needed help, um, she was available. I really enjoyed the Cold War, um, the topic that was really enjoyable and very fun. So in history, you might be wondering what sort of trips we offer. So we offer a trip to Berlin. Um, which links into the Germany course and the Superpower Relation course. We're also going to be offering a Jack the Ripper tour, which ties into the Crime and Punishment module. So there's lots of um, exciting opportunities in history if you are to take it.